One, two, three. Good, Good evening, evening, Kevin. It's Saturday. That's what you do. You, you just sit here. And I usually write some somewhat of a script, um, but sometimes you just let it, the camera roll and see what happens. Um, so yeah, this weekend was family weekend, so Matt's here. Hello. The rest of my family is also here, but they're staying in a hotel. Matt here has uh, decided to rough it, college style. Sleeping on a futon. Um. Yeah, you just watched How to Train Your Dragon too. It was pretty good. Yeah. I'm an. I'm an important college question, which Matt, Matt thinks is very not. Okay, how many food groups are there in Cheez-Its and Pop-Tarts, and does it count as a meal? That, that's my that's my question. Also, in regards to your last video... I really don't like talking to computers. I never know what to say to them. Yeah. Oh, okay, ready? There comes a time in every young socialist's life when he goes... You know, socialism's great, but every time I say I'm a socialist, people get mad! Cause it's got a bad connotation. They always bring up Russia, even though I'm not talking about Russia! So you're like, dude, I know, what if we just come up with a different name for it? So you try to and like, sometimes it's effective, sometimes it's not effective with socialism usually. It has not been effective with socialism. On the other hand, some people have effectively popularized the word egalitarian as an alternative to the word feminism while they probably don't consider it an alternative considering that they mean pretty much the same thing. I would argue that they are, but here's my problem. My problem is with people who get so concerned over whether someone calls themselves a feminist or an egalitarian that they forget that we're still working towards the same goal. As much as I call myself a feminist, and I would probably have some arguments for a person who calls themselves an egalitarian, including you, Kevin, but that's that's not the point. It's missing the point. The thing we call it is only so important. The more important part is that we work together to make things better. Yeah. And we suck at that. My big theory about the world is that stupid people are better at working together because they don't get so picky about the minor details and smart people get so picky about the minor details because they're smart people and that's all good except for sometimes we need to say we need to put these things aside and focus on what's most important at this moment. And whether or not we call it feminism or egalitarianism is not the most important thing. And I think you understood that, because that's what I kind of took away from your video, is that you kind of understood that as much as you would call yourself egalitarian, you're not completely severing your connection to the word feminism. You're just saying you wouldn't necessarily volunteer it to describe yourself. And I think that's probably the way that we should mostly look at it, you know? I think... Maybe there is an argument to be had over which word should be used better or not, but it's definitely not the most important argument to be had right now. Like, there are more important things to focus on, you know? And if we just get distracted by a name, then we'll never get anywhere. And that seems to be not what's happening completely, but like, it's just a huge dividing factor. Didn't we learn anything from Romeo and Juliet? Obsession over names just divides people and leads to premature teenage death. I have no things to say. I don't like talking to computers. Not at all. Rude. They're not very good conversationalists. They just want to listen. They want to know everything. And then they can use your weaknesses to exploit you. So anyways, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and message us whether you like it or not. Good, Good day, YouTube. YouTube. Good, Good day. day. Did you say YouTube? No.